This video program will answer the following questions. How to properly maintain the convertible top. How is the soft top operated? How is the height and length adjusted? How is the convertible top cover replaced? What changes have been made to the bodywork? How are special adjustments performed? The first contemporary BMW convertible is now available based on the E30 body shell. Special features include a soft top which can be fully retracted and genuine four passenger seating. Currently, the E30 convertible is equipped with a 2.5 liter fuel injection engine. Driving performance matches that of the hardtops. Extensive body and chassis reinforcements maintain the traditional BMW safety standards. In order not to compromise these safety standards, suspension modifications are not permitted. Design and maintenance. Now let us look at the soft top material. It consists of three layers. The outer layer is synthetic fiber, the middle layer is rubber, and the inner layer is cotton fabric. A spring tension steel cable is incorporated into the edges of the soft top to ensure a tight seal to the side windows. The rear window is made of plastic and is sewn in. In order to avoid damage, the parking cover should always be used when parking the vehicle. The cover is protected against theft by two locking straps which are clamped under the trunk lid. Although the convertible top is extremely durable, a few important cleaning recommendations must be observed. The soft top should be only washed by hand. The brushes, silicone, and waxes used in a car wash could damage the material of the soft top. Use a gentle non-alkaline auto shampoo and a soft sponge. Afterwards, rinse off all traces of soap with clear water. Never use stain remover, gasoline, or paint thinners. These substances can destroy the convertible top. Use only soft cloths to clean the rear window. Window cleaner or ammonia can also be used. These substances should not, however, come in contact with the soft top material. All important information on cleaning is given in the owner's handbook supplement. No stickers, adhesive tape, etc. should be applied to the rear window. Of course, no sharp-edged objects can be used to remove ice and snow. You should solve this problem by defrosting. The rear window heater switch operates the rear window blower on the convertible. It contains heating elements and operates according to the recirculating air principle. This blower is installed behind the rear seat backrest.
the rear window blower only operates when the convertible top is up. When the top is down, the power supply is interrupted by a micro switch in the storage box. Now let us take a look at the operation of the convertible top. First, lower the side windows. This relieves the seals of unnecessary stress. Release the locking levers. Position the rear cover frame vertical, making sure that the rear window is not buckled. Unlock the storage lid. Release the catch lock. Open the storage box lid. A hook type catch prevents the soft top from opening accidentally when the vehicle is being driven. Fully retract the rear canopy frame. Close the lid, finished. Now let's reverse the procedure to close the top. Side windows must be down. Release and open the storage box lid. Raise the canopy on the side guides. Position the rear canopy frame vertical. Close the storage box lid, pull the top into place and lock. Operating instructions are attached to the back of the sun visor. Raise the side windows and you're finished. Did you notice that it is always the rear side windows which must first be lowered or raised? Why? Look at how the two side windows are guided. The rear side window supports the front one. If the rear window is raised or lowered first, the front window cannot tilt or wedge. When carrying out adjustment or inspection work on the convertible, you must always remember that operating, which means opening and closing, the top, no matter how simple it appears, must be carried out with great care. Particular attention must be given to the flexible rear window. Make sure that it folds without kinking and that your hands are clean. This will avoid problems both for you and for the customer. Height adjustment. Before fitting the roof, check that the factory recommended measurements of the support and the fastening points of the soft top are correct. To measure this, place a bar across the width of the body. The bar must rest on the metal edge of the side panels on the right and left. Then measure the distance from the bottom edge of the bar to the support surface at the front stud. Subtract the thickness of the bar, the distance should be 181 millimeters. Compensate for any differences with one millimeter shims. Repeat this procedure for the rear support. The distance here should be 159 millimeters. In our example, adjustments are needed. 
In this case also compensate for differences with one millimeter shims. When fitting the frame, carefully position the holes provided on the left and right over the studs. Do not initially fully tighten the fastening nuts so that the soft top can still be moved. Close the canopy. Check to see if a gap is open at the front fastening. Compensate for the difference with one millimeter thick shims. Now tighten the bolts of the three attaching points. Length adjustment. The soft top can be adjusted to the left and right as well as lengthwise. If, as in our example, the guide pins of the canopy do not fit into the guide holes in the windshield frame, and the top seal of the side window prevents complete closing, then you can also use one millimeter thick shims for lengthwise and center alignment. Then firmly tighten the bolts of the three attaching points for the roof. The hinges of the cover frame are maintenance free. Only the guides need to be greased. Defective or damaged frames must always be exchanged as a complete unit. Aligning work is not allowed. The cover can only be exchanged as a complete unit. We'll look at this in the next section. Before we start with this subject, let's look at the structural principle of the soft top. It consists mainly of the frame with support bows, rails, seals, and two gas-filled spring struts to assist in opening. After working through this program section, you will be familiar with the main steps to be taken when replacing the convertible top. First, remove the sealing rubber and the rails in the sequence shown. The sealing rubber for the two front side windows and the seal for the windshield frame consist of one piece. Carefully remove the front guide rail from the sealing rubber. It is attached to the soft top frame with sealing compound. 